We've got over 100 items on display here at San Diego Comic-Con, but I want to show you guys a few of my favorites. I'm a big Star Wars guy, so this section in here is sort of my realm. Uh, let me just take you through a few of the pieces. We have a Blue Harvest crew cap here. Blue Harvest, as many fans know, was the secret code name that Return of the Jedi was made under. Uh, this hat, very rare, we've never had too many of these, and it is an original used by a crew member during the making of the film. Next to that is a gargoyle from Jabba's palace in Return of the Jedi. There were a few of these mounted on Jabba's throne, and they were also spread throughout the Jabba's barge set. That's the only one of those I've ever seen, so that's a great piece as well. Uh, we've got a small model of an X-Wing down here. This is a blocking model, so it was basically used for the visual effects team at Industrial Light and Magic to block out shots. It's an off-the-shelf kit model. They put these together and they would put them on wires and things like that, run them around in front of simple video cameras and create video matics and work out blocking shots. So that's why we call it a blocking model. Uh, a couple more model pieces. We've got two different scales of Death Star gun towers. The larger one is from the first film, Star Wars. The smaller one is from Return of the Jedi. Uh, they're slightly different materials, slightly different construction. They're both fantastic. I love those pieces. Uh, we also have an original pair of C-3PO hands from the very first film from Star Wars. These are really neat. This is the only set of these that I've ever seen in private hands. Um, the hands change throughout the film. So in Empire and Jedi, the hands were a one-piece rubber glove. But in the first film, in Star Wars, they were individual components. So you've got each finger is an individual metal cover. And then you've got a vacuum form plate on the back of either hand. Uh, they're all plated. The plating finish has deteriorated a bit, but as you can see, they still have a really interesting, unique look. We've also got a really neat piece down here. This is a study for a matte painting done by Ralph McQuarrie. Ralph McQuarrie, of course, legendary concept artist who was responsible for so many of the designs in Star Wars, and I think for Star Wars fans to have anything by McQuarrie is a real highlight. So we're excited to have this piece in the auction as well, the McQuarrie. Up here, a couple other uh, head-related pieces. We've got a silicone mask from episode one, a uh, Newt Gunray's mask. We've got an original Biker Scout helmet from Return of the Jedi. And we've got a battle droid head from The Phantom Menace. My favorite is definitely the Biker Scout. Uh, the Biker Scout is, of course, the updated Stormtrooper design from Return of the Jedi. The face flips up. It's fantastic. People are coming through. We're scanning badges. We're running contests, we're giving away prizes, we have a daily prize draw to win props from Pacific Rim and from Ender's Game. And I think everybody's having a good time, I think it's great.